Hi there. My name is Chris and I'm going to show you how to process the year-end procedures in Sage 1. This video is going to show you how to export the IP5 file from your Sage 1 system and then how to import the file into EasyFile. Let's get started. Log into the company that you would like to export the file for. From the home page, click on Explore, Reports and Exports. On the right hand side, click on the tab labeled Tax Certificate Submission. Under Submission Details, click on the drop down arrow next to Select the Tax Year and then select the relevant tax year. Click on the drop down arrow next to Select the Submission Period and choose Tax Year End. Your company must be in March in order for you to be able to select this option. Make sure that the Select Type of Submission field is live. Click on Create Submission. If there are any errors and or warnings, this will be indicated by the message that comes up. The message will tell you how many errors and or warnings there are. Click on OK and the error report will be created. You can print this report to printer. All the errors must be corrected before you will be able to successfully create the IRP5 file. The warnings do not have to be corrected as you will be able to export and submit the file with warnings, but you may be liable to pay penalties to SARS. If there are no errors, a screen will come up where you will need to browse to where you would like to save the file. I would suggest that you browse to the desktop so that the file can easily be found there. You also need to give the file a unique name. Just make sure that there are no spaces in the file name and that it ends with TXT. Click on Save. The TXT file will now be available in the location that you saved it to and it can be imported into EasyFile. In Sage 1, a screen will open up where the Tax Certificates, Reconciliation Report and EMP501 Reconciliation Report will be created. From here you can print these reports to PDF or printer. You can now import the TXT file into EasyFile, log into your EasyFile system and click on Import Export Payroll File on the left hand side. Select to import the file. Browse to where you saved the IRP5 file that you exported, for example on the desktop. Click on Open and the file will be imported. If you get any errors that cause your import to fail, you can check what these errors are by clicking on Utilities on the left hand side and then click on Import File Log. Select the file that you imported and a list of errors will display. Once again, these errors must be corrected in the Sage1 system before continuing. Only then will you be able to redo the export process. If your file passes validation and import successfully, you may complete your declaration and submission in EasyFile. Please contact SARS if you need assistance with the declaration and submission in EasyFile or eFiling. And remember that you need to be on the latest version of EasyFile to be able to submit. That concludes the submission process from our side. If you get stuck, pop us a mail on support at payroll.sage1.coza. Thank you.